Okay, so this is the requested video. Um, I know I just like made a video, and saying I was gonna make this video. See, it's raining. If you can like see, it looks really rainy, and water's dripping everywhere. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you how to put this on first because this. It's something you're gonna need first. Before you even start using um, no leash and collar or harness or whatever, you're gonna wanna start off with this. Now, I use collar and leash, well, um, because she, I don't know, I just like collar and leash better. It's easy to put on. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to put a harness on. Well, this one. Uh, anyway, yeah. So let me just go ahead and put this on her. Let me see. It's like confusing. Like seriously, this is like the most confusing thing ever. Come here. Quit being stubborn. Come here. Come here. Wolf. Wolf. Okay, so you're going to... See these two pieces? You're going to put their both paws in. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that up so she won't. Okay. So once you put both paws in, you have this clip. And you just... See this clip here? You clip it on. And there's two rings that you um, put the leash on. So it's really protected. There's other kinds of harnesses, but that's mine. So yeah, the side which I have to put that on. And for a collar, you, there's two different kinds of collars, I think. Yeah, a buckle one, and this just clip thing. And this is what a buckle one looks like. Where's my pink collar? This is my other dog's collar, but just for an example. Um, see, it's buckle. It's pretty and bright. It's new. But that hurts. Um, so anyway, and I have a rope leash. But you can use any leash, pretty much. But I prefer this one because it's like... Oh, there's two slugs. I didn't think that. Oh my gosh. Oh, we don't have any slugs. See a slug? Oh, no, slug. Ugh. Ew. God, I hate rainy days. Because, like, slugs are seriously really bad. Anyway, I'm using... Well, come here. I'm using collar and leash right now because it might look crappy, but oh well. Because when you start, that's what you're gonna want. You're gonna want, and you're you're gonna want. Let's go. You're gonna want oh a collar and leash because or harness and leash, whatever you choose to use. Um, uh, because. You're not just going to go right off the bat um, and just jump those jumps. Unless your dog is really awesome and stuff. Then, oh, oh girl, oh. Um, I'm like, going to like try to pick up one. Because, gross, get away from them. <laughs> um, so anyway, I use dog food because she has a weird digestive thing and um she throws up treats so anyway these are my jumps they look really really crappy but I don't care so anyway what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want your jumps really low and one of my brooms is gone because then you're mo you're most likely to get the better respond um I do know my dogs they did go around uh, the jump well my other one she used to but she don't anymore um she goes around and then she went under it and she did too she goes under it without calling the leash as well anyway you're gonna want um also when you make your dog jump hop up you're gonna want to like say something like jump or hop hop or whatever hop or get up or go, get out go over it or something I don't know something to like say hey 
this means go over it. Um, um, so yeah, if your dog goes under the jump or around the jump or jumps, do not give the treat. But if the dog jumps everything and like just jumps everything, give the treat. And if the dog misses a pole but still jumps it, still give the treat because she tried her best to go over that jump. So yeah. Um, so yeah. I don't know how like to explain this, but anyway. So hop up, hop up, hop up. So yeah, that's when our tarp is flooded. So anyway, yeah. So I do that, and once your dog responds, ooh, responds better to that, the lower jumps, you can raise the jumps even higher and make them jump. And if they don't respond to that, just lower the jumps back up and do lower jumps again. And then when your dog gets used to it, you can raise the jumps. And if your dogs are being stubborn, another thing you can do is bring your, do your dogs in a circle. And like go around the jump or the course a few times. Um, and then when you get better at it, you can take that off and the collar off. And then you can just grab the treat. Hop up! Hop up! Hop up! And they'll oh, and they'll jump it. She wants to go in. So yeah, that is how you train your dog to jump. If you still have problems, I will make another video. Just tell me what the problems are and I'll try. So yeah, that this video was for Horse Freak because she asked me how to do this. And yeah, I'm sorry for bad quality and I'm sorry for making this video long. And I'm sorry that the jumps are crappy and it's muddy and nasty out here. And the tarp is flooded and eh. And my stuff is like really old and gross. But anyway, that is how you train your dog to jump. So yeah, bye-bye.